You guys done? Am I ready? Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Hi, welcome to Timberwolf TV where we make lemonade out of lemons. And I apologize for that rough intro. I wanted to make sure my hair and makeup crew were all done. Um, I don't have a hair and makeup crew. I am hiring though. If you want to be interested in those positions, let me know. I could really use some help in that department. <laughs> but um, anyway, on to Timberwolf TV. Let's, let's do it. So, oh, I just did the coolest thing. So I um, just got done reading a book to Miss Ortola's class and um, it was so fun. I loved every minute of it, but really what I walked away remembering is that I, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I have been distracted by a lot of things um, starting this year, like air quality, <laughs> like paying attention to that. And then the lunchroom, all the kids are back in there. I'm opening stuff for them. It, it's a thing trust me that's what it but that's good and then well there's covid right but i've seriously been distracted by a lot of things and miss ortola asked me to read a book to her class and i'm so thankful she did because it just reminded me to to take the time and focus on those things that are so important and, and just bring me joy so um it was such a good just regrouping of Pull it together, Brooks. Let's do what's important and make sure that we are taking the time to do these things that bring us joy. So I, um, so students, I want to let you know that I will be popping into classrooms, hopefully reading. Ask your teacher to invite me. Um, at, invite me yourself. So thank you for that. That just made my Friday. I am so thankful. Um, oh, I have more positive news. On Monday, Snowy King is going to be here in front of our school. So right in front of the office, um, please take advantage of it, get a snow cone, and actually some of the proceeds will be coming back to Stone Ridge. So I just, it's just a fun way to uh, celebrate a great week and an early, an early release day on Monday. Um, oh, I do, I, I want to let you in on a little secret. So I set a goal for myself. I, when I get busy, the first thing that happens is I not that it's super important, but like in my personal life, I stop posting things about what's happening. I just get distracted and it goes to the wayside. But I I want to be sharing with you all the great things that are happening at Stone Ridge. And I made it a goal to post at least one picture a day about what's happening at Stone Ridge. Well, I so far have posted a video of the kids coming on the first day. I posted a picture of our first grade team wearing their awesome tool belts. And I, after taking that picture, I'm like, I'm going to get a picture of every grade level. I'm going to put it on there. I have failed. And the reason I tell you that is because I want you to give me a bad time. And I also am hoping that this spurs me into doing it. So watch out for pictures and, and information and fun things that we're doing at Stone Ridge on um, our Instagram site. And um, we also have a Facebook page. So check those out. I really appreciate you keeping your kids home if they're not feeling well. Um, it's okay if you keep them home. It's okay. They, we will get work for them, get it made up. And then also if parents are sick in the household, we encourage you to keep the kids home. It can just avoid like kind of a spiraling down the line. So thank you for doing that. Um, on that note, I did want to clarify what might happen if there was a child who tested positive or a teacher or something in the class in your child's classroom. Some of you have already experienced this um, and some of you might in the future. So I thought it might be good if I kind of just talk you through what's going to happen. So you will get a letter coming home just saying that someone in the class tested positive, staff or student. And um, the difference this year is that the kids can continue to come to school. So we just ask that if they don't, as long as they don't have any symptoms, if they have as much as a runny nose and they've been exposed, we ask you to keep them home. So um, they can keep coming, but we do need them to get tested to make, to make sure that they are still negative, okay? And we ask that you test on day five and between day seven to 10 after the exposure, that's when we're gonna get the most valid results. And you can go ahead and send those results to us just so that, like I said, we're making sure the kids in the classroom are still negative, okay? So I hope that that um, clarifies things for you a little bit. And as always, call the office if you have questions. We're happy to walk you through the process. We're becoming um, very well informed in things that we never thought we would. So we are, we, we're happy to answer your questions. 
Um, so I hope that's helpful. I, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to kind of share that in a video, but I'm like, makes sense. I, and um, hopefully it's a little more clear. So before I uh, sign off, I wanted to give you a Brooks update. My daughter has come to school with shoes every day this week. So um, it's pretty great, right? Uh, but she has, she's been wearing two different shoes. <laughs> and I, the reason I tell you that is because I just want you to know that if your kid wants to come to school with two different shoes, send them with two different shoes. We don't care. <laughs> and the, that how the kid wants to roll, let them do it. So, um, that's just what I wanted to share with you today. I think that's all. I had to fit this in real quick before heading to lunch with the kids. So we're going to go do that now. Thank you for watching this episode of Timberwolf TV, where we make lemonade out of lemons.